morning okay so today's gonna be a little bit different um excuse you um daughter number five is turning 21 today this is her birthday happy birthday aubrey and so because it's her birthday we're gonna actually be heading about an hour and a half from here to the city um most of you would probably say that's not a city but um it's the biggest town close to us and um, that's where she lives and um, so we are going to head over there just to see her real quick for her birthday and to do some errands um, 21st birthday so I'm sure she's gonna you know hang out with her friends and do some stuff that mom and dad probably just don't need to know about and because I did sort of manage to get my hair somewhat straight today this is happening in the garden. Someone volunteered to water. Yay, thank you, Lou. So yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the plan for today and we're super excited about it. Hi everybody. Uh, as I told you earlier, we're heading to the largest town um, close to where we live, which is about an hour and a half away from us. And um, daughter number five is celebrating I feel 24. I never admit to being 50. I um, literally tell everyone I'm 29, and I've been saying that for however many years. Um, we do live on a farm, and that farm belonged to my dad before it was ours. And when he, um, my mom had passed away, we lived in Utah at this point. And my mom passed away, and my dad started to need some help, and he lived out here in Missouri. And Mark just happened to get a job and so out we came and he gave the house to me and um to us he gave the house to us to us <laughs> sorry uh he gave the house to us and we have been living there for the last 10 years now it was a huge adjustment so to backtrack a little bit bit um, we have these eight kids. Five of them are now grown and out of the house, and so we have the three youngest still at home. I am a teacher. Um, I teach third grade, and you are? I, I, I'm route sales. I do route sales. I've been doing it for approximately 
25 years. And so five days a week, you travel how much every day? Like what's? Oh, about a hundred and about 120 miles a day. Yeah, and he starts his day super early. I get up at 1:45 in the morning and uh, take a shower, head off to work. I normally get home early afternoon. Except on Fridays, like today, when he gets home super early. Um, and that allows us to do some stuff like this. I enjoy what I'm doing, but I'm looking forward to retirement, to getting to the property full time. So, 10 years ago, we moved out here um, and basically inherited kind of a mess. My, my dad was getting older. He worked a lot at that point and... He, he was in construction and he was very good at what he did. Um, but he was like a mechanic where he fixed everybody else's cars fantastically or he fixed everybody else's houses fantastically, but he let his go to... Fall apart, basically. Yes. And so we inherited a mess and, and, and he was a bit of a hoarder. Let's be honest, he was a major hoarder. And so we walked into basically just a wall of stuff whenever we arrived. And it, it basically took a couple years just to sort of come out of the depression of feeling like everything we were used to. We had lived in a very nice home and, you know, we, 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 we were city people. We lived in the city. Yes, um, we I, were city people. I grew up in the city. Um, I never... Um, lived in the country or anywhere near the country. Um, Tammy grew up in Alaska. I, kind of a combination. Um, I lived on the, I was born and lived on the West Coast about half of my life growing up. The other half was in Alaska in a bush town. So I did have the experience of, you know, living without a town close by. Um, the town that we were in was about 700 people. But you know, we were um, four to five hours away from the next biggest town. And you just lived without stuff. You didn't have, I mean, our grocery store was dinky. It was the size of probably like what would be considered a small house. So, you know, I did have that experience, but I also had it as a child. So all of your outlet is through the school and so there were things to do or I felt like there were things to do you hung out with your friends a lot all of that and so moving out here as the mom was a big huge transition and it was difficult for me and I'll, I'll be honest I really quickly wanted to put all the boxes back in the truck and head back to the west coast but, <laughs> to what was familiar to me but what when we left we had made a decision and we both um, decided that we were going to stick it out. This is what we wanted for our children. Yeah. We wanted our children to be raised in a safe environment. Um, in the country. I mean, our kids have always been awesome, hard workers. They've learned that from us. and. I wanted my kids to know that hamburger did not come from the grocery store. Right. To, um, I wanted them to know that you know animals are not what you see on the side of the road, and they're not what you see in a Disney movie. No. Um, so we've had cows, we've had pigs, we've had um, guineas. We've had everything, I think, except for chickens. We, and, but we. But that's sort of the the next thing we're gonna do. Right now, there are cows on our property. We actually rent out our. Uh, we have 20 acres and we rent out our pastures to a friend of ours who keeps cattle on there, um, which benefits us as far as keeping a lot of the weeds and things eaten down. Um, and it benefits him because he has some place for his cattle. And um, But we are going to be putting some chickens out, getting some more pigs, some cattle of our own. Um, and sort of restarting some of that. It is a little different now because when we did it before, it was when we I was on the property. But now I'm 
I work full time and he works full time. And so we'll be kind of relearning um, how to do it when we're both not there. Yes, we've lived on the property for 10 years. Yes, we've done um, different things. Projects. We've tried a garden here and a garden there. And we've tried- Look, where we live, it grows rocks really, really well. It really does. And it's not that we can't grow in the ground. We have done it and we've done it successfully, but the amount of labor that goes into being able to do it successfully is huge. And so this year, uh, Mark did put in a raised bed garden for me and I love it. It is so amazing. And we are gonna grow from there. So we've already got plans for the next portion of raised beds and I, I already have plans for the next portion after that and after that and after that. So that's, that's growing. So we're hoping, uh, we're hoping you'll stick with us through the uh, transition. And we this want... year was a huge year. I mean, we've all lived through this pandemic. We've all seen what happens and, and the food shortages that are happening. And it's a little scary. We want a place for our family to be able to come to if something like this happens again. And, and maybe we don't recover after three months. Maybe things don't start to open back up. We want there to be a place where we can come and there's already put into place a system for being able to take care of ourselves. Join us on a, a trip into sustainability sustainability we have no idea um, we're learning as we go we don't know what the next step is we don't know we do know that after this roof is finished which you guys saw mark working on um the other day and he's close to having it done um that once that's finished our goal really is to rip out our entire kitchen and start over it's kind of like with the roof where we're sort of in a place where we don't have a choice it has to be taken care of now um, and so that's gonna be the next big project you're gonna see a lot of gardening you're gonna see a lot of just family stuff honestly this channel for me is sort of you know I have blogged in the past I have scrapbooked in the past this is sort of a combination of the two something that our family can can log into and sort of follow along with what we're doing and we can have that connectivity still um, where they can see kind of what we're doing, what our life is like because, you know, Mark's parents still live on the West Coast, very city life, which is very different from what people living in the Midwest live like, which is that transition that we're talking about. That's what we were used to. And this is so different and we're learning. So. Like I said, join us as we learn um, and we grow. Hit the subscribe button and you know ring the bell for notifications. Let us know what you think. Let us know um, if I'm doing something wrong, which I yeah. Do. We want to hear your comments. We want to hear you know, hey, have you thought about doing it this way? Keep it encouraging and not condemning. Remember, kindness goes a long way. Um, but yeah, we wanna hear your guys' suggestions and your advice. And remember, like I tell my kids all the time, advice is just that, it's to be listened to, and then it's up to you to decide whether you take it or not. So if we don't take your advice, forgive us and move on. It's not a big deal. Well, you guys know me so well. What are we looking for? Nothing now. <laughs> because the guy was right. 
don't have wood chippers at Lowe's. No wood chippers at this Lowe's. Weird. Okay, so we are, one of our errands today that we needed to run was um, Mark needed to do his DOT physical for work. And um, so, you know, right now because of everything that's going on, you're not allowed to go into the, um, the doctor's offices and stuff with the patient. And so here I am sitting in the car on a very hot day and um, I've been sitting here he's been inside for over an hour and a half and he has texted me twice one being just like a minute and a half ago saying that he is still waiting to be called back and the whole time he has to have a mask on and uh, I see other people waiting in this parking lot this is wild you guys it is wild like I understand if you don't want more than just the patient coming in and I understand you know needing to wear a mask and and all of that but then get your scheduling down I'm sorry if I sound grouchy but it is hot and I am sitting out here and they apparently have no clue when he is going to be called back and there aren't that many people here so this is crazy, but it's the only bad part of my day so far, so yay. Okay, well, we have been gone almost 12 hours. Whoa, dog's pulling me. Um, just got home and it was a long day, two and a half hours waiting for the doctors to check out my husband do his DOT physical, so I'm glad that's over with. We had a fantastic day. And the kids, I think, are in the pool, so we left them at home today. And, uh, oh, and the dog just literally jumped in the pool. Who came in the pool with you? Ollie. What'd you do, buddy? You like to go swimming with your brother, your sisters? Come on. You gonna get out? Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Now you gotta hop out. There you go. Good. Oh, good boy. So in other words, we're so glad to be home. We hope you guys had a great day too. We'll see you tomorrow.